New long-awaited Shatsien component is finally here. They have just introduced their new component sidebar. And not only one, but 30 and more different sidebars that we can just pick and put into our project. So let's see how does it look. Here in Shatsien documentation there is now here new link new sidebar component. So this is the first sidebar and this one is a composable, themable and customizable sidebar component. So this one looks already really nice and it has even its own scroll and we have here probably login, log out. Yes, so this one is everything that we need, but this is not the only thing we get. We're getting 30 sidebars. So let's see how does it look. So let's first check out the blocks library of different sidebars. So this is the first one, a simple sidebar with navigation grouped by section. And here we can see those are just links grouped by different sections, API ref reference, architecture, etc. Then we have here a sidebar with collapsible sections. And that's like we saw in the first example. This one is really cool. And so these are all documentation, documentation, or else basically all are similar, but let's see something that we can actually test and use on our side. So this one, I think this one is really nice. So here we have these collapsible icons and we have here some projects where we are getting this like small window and we also have the logout, this user settings, Awesome, let's try this one. So I'm going to copy this command npx shredcn add sidebar 07 and I'm going to put it inside of my projects. So this is the new thing also with shredcn, you can directly put without your Next.js application and it will automatically just ask you, do you want to install your Next.js project? And this one is working, so you don't have to do npx create next app latest we are going to choose new york then stone and yes we are going to use css variables and now shed cn library is being installed we are installing all the dependencies and there it is so we are going to my app and there i'm just going to run pm pm dev and let's check out how is our sidebar looking. So our Next.js application is working and we are going to our projects, my app, and I'm going to open this inside of my cursor and let's see how does it look. So here I'm going to the components and we have here our app sidebar. So here we can see that we have a lot of icons and we have our dummy data. So that's everything exactly like we saw there in the documentation. And also we can see that we have this nav main, nav projects, nav user, team switcher. So it's not only one component, it's created in a smart way. And we have a bunch of components that are working together to get this up sidebar. Let's check now the documentation to see how we actually use this sidebar. So here I'm going to the sidebar component and let's check it out. So here is the installation. We already did this part. We imported a bunch of components with that npx command. And this is for the teaming. And we have this one already. We are going to play with teams later. And here is the important, interesting part, structure. So a sidebar component is composed of the following parts. Sidebar provider, sidebar, sidebar header, footer, content, group, and sidebar trigger. Okay, so there are many components that sidebar is using, and we probably need to use them inside the layout. Yes, so we need to put this one inside of our layout and let's try it out. So I'm just going to copy paste this entire thing and we are going to our layout file and here instead of children, I'm just going to put this one here and we are going to import our sidebar provider app sidebar and our sidebar trigger like this. Awesome. So this one should now already work. Let's test it out here in our application 
Yes, so we have our sidebar already working. How awesome is this? So we have even this one. I missed this one when I was checking out the demo. So we have here also the links and this one is collapsible and it's probably by default opened. We can check that one out later in the component. And below we have this user settings where we can put in our logout, notifications, etc. So this one is already working. That's really awesome. So let's see quickly how does it look on mobile. So I'm going to, so it's collapsing. That's nice. And we have this trigger. And if I click it, it's just getting out. Awesome. So that one is working. And let's check out the dark mode. So I'm quickly going to open again, shed CN here, components the dark mode next.js and i'm going to install this one into my project so i'm doing it here installing my next teams and i'm going to add the team provider inside the components here team provider.tsx copy pasting the team provider and also in the layout i need to add it here to wrap up everything like this and to import it from the team provider component and now just to put in the mod toggle component also so that's here dot tsx and this one so let's put it now on our page and here we can put it wherever so we can put it just here mod toggle and import it here from the components nice let's see how is our sidebar now looking and awesome it even has these colors for the icon so this one is probably changing based on our team let's try now those themes that we saw in the beginning so here i'm going to put this one inside of our globals.css and paste it here so let's check it out now here refreshing and it's still the same so we can probably change it for example here we can put something different maybe some i don't know ai give me something different now it's some grayish let's say give me some orange and accept so now we are getting the orange color so we are basically determining our team based on these globals so that's nice we can control it for our brand or for whatever it is inside the project this is really awesome and it was really easy to implement this let's see what else they got here inside the blocks so we installed sidebar 07 let's see 08 it's similar and 09 this one is completely different so this one is really nice and you can even switch here so this is really great then we have which one is this sidebar in a popover okay is it this one yes nice then we have collapsible file tree Oh, this one is like a file system. This one is also great and really bunch of options. This one is with a calendar and then we have, I'm wondering if we have the right side. Yeah, here it is. Like when I said it, so this is the right side. This is always painful to create and yeah, we have different types again on the right side and that's it. Awesome. It's amazing how ShadCN is going in that awesome direction where building UI is such a breeze and it's so easy to build anything with it. Look at, I mean, for this sidebar before we needed so much time to create something like this and for free, someone is giving you like this whole component that is usable both on mobile devices and on desktop. It's also working with different themes and with light and dark mode. This is really a perfect timing to be a developer.